Hello, boys and girls. Good evening to you. Hello, hello. Hi. Let me see if I can start everything. Maybe, maybe. Yes, yes, yes. My face is never in the same position, by the way. <laughs> Every time, you know. <laughs> Every time is slightly different. I don't know why, but here I am. Hello, boys and girls. Plane shifters of the world. Um, so today I want to do a bit of bug fixing. Uh, I did it yesterday as well, but I think I want to continue on that. By the way, let me change the title of the stream of yesterday because I think it was not correct because i yeah in the title i have compendium but actually actually we didn't do any compendium fixes we did some general bug fixing and so i'm gonna change it um yeah okay it should be fine It should be fine. So I compiled the list of bugs and stuff that I want to fix. Um, this list is gonna break the server and client compatibility most likely, mm -hmm, pretty much for sure. So this means that if we want to have um, this fixed, we will need to... Um, also this one is a bit weird. like that like that um so if you want to if you want to fix all these points uh we're gonna break the compatibility meaning that i need to re-release a new alpha so like a 078 or something but it's okay i think that 077 is stable enough at least for what i see up to now and um is working kind of okay compared to our expectations now we have uh, uh, this list let me read you this list so you understand what is it so the first problem was the progression it was always set as 9999 and this one i fixed it already so it should be okay the second one which is very important and interesting and uh, needed is uh, the ability to spend progress points and so actually the ability to um increase a certain stats based on the progression point that you have uh, collected right while uh, making experience in the game um so this one at the moment is not there uh, i was working on it right now while i was uh, before streaming and um i think i'm in a good position to have it working there are still a few things uh, in particular i want to fix the the ui um there is a problem with this with the skill window which is scaling scaling the ability field in a kind of a weird way so sometimes if you have a very high value it scales um, and it goes off the window and it is not something that we want um, we have some disappearing stuff on characters like arms and heads sometimes are disappearing i need to fix it i want to add a tooltip to mental and physical stamina 
I want to combine, I want to fix these two functions which at the moment are not implemented, which are used in crafting. Uh, I don't know why the window, the guild window is always popping up, but it is what is happening. So we need to fix it. Uh, we need to fix the uh, gizmo for moving non old items. At the moment, you can fly with items somehow, so which is not really good. Um, fixing labels of transformation mode. Uh, ah, yes, uh, in the UI. Yes, there is another thing I need to fix. Uh, this one about uh, resetting the, the layout. Um, we have some problem about quest that sometimes you don't get the right list or you get the list of someone else which is not really good and so this one is pretty important actually um, there are some problems with the texture of the plate armor I want to add the mining animation I want to merge the audio and display panel and um, uh, and few other stuff at the bottom which is not super important but like the configuration of the emotes and the ability to unstick which at the moment is not enabled hello Rwanda hello sugars good evening hello Marcelo hello Maui hello Monty hello Hula hi hi and welcome so this is a bit of the list now i don't know how much time it will take me to do all of this um i hope not too much but anyway uh, every every single item you know uh, requires quite some work so i think the most complex one is probably this one but i already did some uh, i did some work and it should be i should be in a good position so uh let's see uh so we are working on this one at the moment spending point to progress on the abilities what I was uh, changing was I was trying to change the uh, skill progress bar. So adding a new bar here at the bottom uh, below the uh, name of the skill, right? And I was trying to adjust it in a way that um, is showing only when the bottom panel is popped up and the to have this button for training which is uh, connected i think at the moment is already connected to the um dispatcher for uh, increasing the skill of one now i think we will i think we will need two buttons actually um and not one so i think i can just implement it i don't know if it's confusing today because the way it works is that every skill has a number of points you know to move to the next rank so for example you are uh, um, increasing your uh, mining skill and um, you are at level you are at rank like 10 and you want to go to rank 11 so to move from 10 to 11 there are actually a number of, uh, let's say, sub points that uh, that you need, right? And those sub points are uh, expressed in this bar now. And while for the normal skills you uh, basically develop the skill while you use it, for the basic stats like agility, strength, uh, will, etc., you are. Um, you are you have to train them at the trainer okay so you need a trainer to train them and so you need to click on this thing right and um you can train one by one the single skills or you can wait to reach to have enough point and then train the wall the wall skill right um, um I just don't know how, how to how to express it here in a way that people can easily understand it. Um, but basically, I will need uh, two of these boxes, right? And I don't know if I can put it in a in a, in an easy way. 
right? I will need two of these boxes. And I'm thinking, should I make it? Should I make it? Um, should I make it a vertical box or should I make it a grid or should I make it what what, what should I make it? Because um, I try to use a grid, but sometimes I get confused about this grid panel. Sometimes I get confused. So it's not very easy for me to understand how to use it because this grid panel, okay, can contain objects. So for example, I can put this into my grid okay but after i do that you see that for example my bar is becoming is becoming very weird and um i can decide here the the fill so i can say like uh, let me try uh, it's always hard to split so i can say for example that the columns you know that we have two columns and the first column is like 20 percent you know and the second column is 80 percent so this will split um this will split this thing to be the problem is that how do i decide you know um the 20 percent is enough this is kind of a bit of the question that i have all the time like because in theory i would like to go like until this right but i don't know if this is gonna work all the time but we can try okay we can try we can have that then inside still inside a grid panel so this one will be at position zero zero and um inside a grid panel i think i can put the other objects right um like this sides box i can put it in and this one I will have to say that is in row number one. So it goes down, right? It goes down one, which I think is great. And I can also say that this particular row has uh, some space at the top just because we don't want it. We don't want it to be, you know, um, attached to the, to the bar, right? Um, then I can probably duplicate this to get another button and I can say that this one is in row number two. Okay, so this way it kind of works. Yeah, I think we can proceed this way. I think it's kind of working to make it reasonably good. Uh, then I want my descriptions, this image description, right, to be still inside my grid panel but in this case i want them to be in column number one right so it goes that way and i think it can take the whole space and can have a zero here so this will take um, but i think i need a row span of three yeah, so it takes the wall thing. And then I need my image gradient, which is this thing, to be pretty much the same. So to be also in column one, to be also spanning, maybe the column span can be, wait, no, not the column span, the row span. Uh, the row span can be, can be two, maybe. And this one also should have zero, okay i think we are reaching a point that is kind of working let me see uh and then this one also i put in a grid panel i say column one i say um row span i think we can say three and now i need to drastically reduce the um I think I can go to like 10, yeah, something like that. Hmm. Okay, I think it should be fine. The problem I have now is that this bar is becoming super big. And I think that the way I can do it 
is if I use the row fill, this thing, which is basically saying how many rows we have. We have three rows, right? We said that we have three rows because these things are on the row number two and it starts from zero. So it's zero, one, and two. And hello, your luck. Welcome. Hello, Maui. Hello, Yin4. Thanks, for, thanks, guys, for joining. How are you today? Um, so I would like this bar to be slightly smaller. So um, I think we can say that the the row fill is like 0 0.1 and then the second one is equally divided. So 0 0.45 and 0 0.45, something like that, right? So these two are like equally divided between the space and this one is taking 10% right, of the available space. If we can make it so that it's at the same level of assassin web, I mean of the name of the Okay, so I think that is kind of good. Um, I think I will call it... Now, the problem is to make people understand the difference between these two buttons, okay? So, one is basically training by one point. And this one is training the full rank right but i don't know how to how to say it in a way that people understand it because people will say okay what is a point and what is a rank basically a rank is the one that is changing here a point is just a sub point you know like like this this thing so maybe uh we can swap them because i think that people will more likely work on upgrading the rank more than upgrading the single points but if they want to do it they can uh so maybe you can say that this one is one and this one is two okay so i just warp them right um train plus one rank i think train plus one rank is very understandable because it's a full rank now you don't know how much it will cost you Right, uh, but because maybe it will cost you 19 points or something like that, and one point is only going going up by one small thing here. I think as soon as you click it once, you will understand it because when you click, you will see this bar going up slightly, right? And so I think it could be enough, but I'm not really sure that. Um, um, train skill, train rank, yes. Um, uh, now, the train rank is something that I didn't do yet, right? So I think I need to connect it to an unclicked, yes, because the skill increase button uh skill increase um skill increase plus one point okay and then this one will be skill increase plus one full rank okay i don't know why i have this button click event but okay um one full rank so this one needs to call the same um the same dispatcher just with an additional parameter which is the amount and the amount will be the amount uh, i don't know if i have it because uh, skill rank uh, skill id i have skill rank i have skill id I don't think that I have, uh, I don't think that I have saved uh, skill knowledge and skill knowledge cost. I don't think I saved these two variables. 
but probably I should. So let me add two new variables. One we call it skill knowledge and the other we call it uh, skill knowledge cost and and these two we will set we will set here at the beginning um, I would say before setting the percent, yes. Before that, yes. Okay. So we go from here to here and from here to here. Now it start to be a bit messy, but let me try to... Hmm. Uh, maybe I can do this probably better wait am I doing it right yes yeah maybe the, maybe like this is a is nicer okay um, and then we do and then we set the percentage on the progress bar okay mm. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> now, now that we have the skill knowledge and the knowledge cost, we can just do one minus the other to know how much we are missing for the new rank. Practice does make perfect. It does. And I would say I'm practicing a lot, no? So we can get the cost, we can uh, do cost minus, uh, cost minus current knowledge. And it is basically the difference that you have between what you have and what you need to reach the next rank, right? And so at this point, we need to call this dispatcher, I would say exactly the same way, with the only difference that uh, we need to pass the amount right we need to pass the amount now unfortunately this dispatcher does not have the amount specified so we need to add it we need to add the uh, the amount as an integer yes and new parameter error okay sometimes it does this I don't know why you have to basically put it back Now here the amount will always be one, right? When we are when we are clicking on a single increment, while here the amount will be specified, and so it can be definitely higher than one. It will be will be this value. Uh, the rest stays the same. So all these other parameters. All these other parameters go in as they are. Okay. Now, um, so now basically we have added the ability to click on those two buttons and to send through a dispatcher um, the information, right? Now, that dispatcher should be connected. Mm, don't remember where, but should be connected here somewhere uh, yes exactly here so um, why this one didn't get the new parameter in the right way you see that it says new parameter but in reality we know that this one is um, amount is kind of weird. Let me try to close it and open it again. Mm. 
Sometimes it does that with this with uh, dispatchers and other stuff. It's still new parameter. I'm pretty sure if I create a new one, 100% it will get the right name. You see? Amount. <laughs> um, okay. And now it doesn't let me rename it. Okay. Yeah, allow me to do it now. So um, we put this here, we connect it here. We need to connect the skill with the skill and the amount in this case is always one. So I don't, I don't, I don't really care. Uh, I can just, you know, R code it as, uh, as one. I think it's okay in this case, amount always one, but we want another one. So we want to bind to another event. Um, Ah, no, 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 wait. Uh, no, no, it's the same, it's the same, it's the same. Uh, it's the same. We call the same... Uh, we call the same dispatcher, right? The only difference is that in this case we pass the amount, in this case we pass one. Yeah, 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 we call the same dispatcher. So we can use, we can use this. Uh, amount always one, we will remove it and an amount we connect it yes yes it's just like that it's just like that we just pass the skill id and the amount okay okay boys hello light or l-i-g-h or lig Never understood how to read your name. Um, okay, so basically now we have this, right? We have this, okay. So what do we do next? Um, I think we can just test it and see because I have some pieces that are already working. So, um, hmm. we can just test it on the server side we should be fine let me just launch it one second and see what happens okay now the way i did it is that the uh, 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 uh wait i did a mistake i think because i'm enabling i'm enabling only what was that? No idea. I'm enabling only one button. I should actually enable both buttons. Um, I don't remember where I do it, but there should be a place. Exactly. Uh, wait, I need to. Because otherwise we will see only one button. Uh, because all the buttons should be, all the buttons should be by default, by default hidden. Okay. So this thing should be, this thing should be uh, visibility collapsed. Yes, exactly. And this one should also be called, okay, perfect. And then here we take uh, train rank, right? Which is the other one. And we enable both of them. Because at the moment I was working with one button only. And now we are working with two buttons, right? Okay. So this should basically hide or show the two buttons based on the fact that you are speaking with an NPC that can train that particular ability and you have a, the value of the ability below the maximum that that NPC can train. Okay, but let's manage server side. 
this Nick is older than the WWW. It was not meant to be said. It was not meant to be said, huh? Light is like light without the T. Sounds like it coming in. Light. 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 Okay. Okay, let me load that. Um let me load this. I think we are making very good progress anyway, boys. Uh, overall, I'm very happy about the progress that we are making. I think we are going pretty fast. Uh, this window that pops up, we have it on the list. Okay, so now if I click here, Hmm, this bar is a bit misplaced though. This bar looks like shit, if I can say. <laughs> it doesn't really look nice. I don't know, we can put it... My idea was that it was next to agility and as long as agility, but... Hmm. No. It needs to be connected to agility somehow. I think it will be better. Because like this is really, really bad. But, okay, so apart from that, if I speak with an NPC that can train me, like this guy, this guy can train me, okay? So if I speak with him, and you see that now we have the new, I mean the new, I mean the new for Unreal, uh train button okay this one was not existing so i just added it right now and right you see that as soon as you click on that the skill window pops up and in addition to the to the bar and to the description you also have the two buttons enabled where um, where this trainer can train you, right? And for example, in this one, he cannot, for whatever reason, okay? And in this one, he can. Um, now, if I click on plus one point, if I see plus one point, uh, in theory, this bar should go up, right? by one by one yes there is no indication of and my progression point should go down right progression point 103 progression point 102 i don't know if this thing is really understandable from players i mean i don't know if they understand that this is linked um I'm speaking new player, obviously, yeah, because, uh, I mean, a v veteran player, obviously, they know it. But I'm, I'm thinking to someone new, you know, that looks at this. And looks at this. And how does it... Or, or, we, say, or we say spend progression points... Maybe it's more, uh, you know. If I do plus one rank, I want to see what happens. Basically, what should happen is that I would be spending. Um, I have 102. I would be spending like seven or so. And this should go to 71. Right? If I click here. Let's try. I actually spent like 13. But yes, the agility went to 71, which is good. So it seems that the server side is working fine on this. And the bar got reset to zero. So if I spend one point, okay, it goes up a bit. Hmm. I think it is understandable. I'm just not sure that people can relate this progression point to... To this 
And also the bar here looks very, 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 very bad. I think if we can put it just connected to the agility line, that would be much better, right? The problem is that will be seen all the time. So because here, you know, it appears only when you when you click on it, right? Which I like. I like the fact that it appears only when you are because it if if we put this bar, you know, always here. Um, do you prefer the bar always visible or not, guys? I know you are very busy in jumping around, but <laughs> programming visually appears to be much easier than in pure code. Well, sometimes yes, yes. Uh, programming visually is very, very nice. I really like it. So do you prefer to have, uh, I have a question for you. Do you prefer to have the skills like clean like this, where you only see the 71, or do you prefer to see this bar that now appears only when you click on it to be actually below and always, always visible? So it means that there will be a lot of bars here, mainly in the ones that are busy like this, you will have a lot of bars, blum, 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 right? I don't know. Having the progress bar on the skill always visible will be appreciated so you can compare them between skills. Um, yeah. Yeah, like if you have one skill that is nearly done, maybe you want to you want to spend the points. Or maybe you see the progress, you know. Um okay, we can try to put it we can try to put it above. We can try to put it above, um, but it seems to work. Eh? I mean, the good the good part of this is seems to work. Now I don't know what happens if I close this, and and I go away from the trainer, right? And I try to use it again. I don't know exactly what is going on with this with this ground. I think there is one shader too much. But anyway, um, so if I go like here, right, and I open my skill window, the skill window is not that smart in the sense that it still keeps the last known, the last known uh, setup, which was the one when I spoke with the trainer. And so in theory, I can still click on this. But if I click on it, it says need to get a bit closer to understand the training. Um, hmm. Which is kind of okay, but at the same time, also it's not okay. Maybe what we can do is that if you close it, It will just reset the visibility of those things. And so when you close it, it's going to reset it. It's probably the best, otherwise, I think it will be super confusing. Or we leave them always on, and it's but the problem is that of leaving them always on is that then you, you go to an NPC and you don't know exactly what to train and you see buttons everywhere and it's super, super confusing. No, no, no. We need to show them only when. But I think when we close the window, right? When we close the window, we need to hide them. Now, the problem of catching the closing of the window is not that easy because because um, actually closing the window is something that happens in our window manager, which is this guy. He's the guy that holds all the windows that we have in the game. And
and I don't think that this guy knows what to do. Also because that window can be closed also from here, you know. Can be closed also from here. I think the best from here, from here. Mm, I'm thinking, but I think the best would be to implement like an override in our windows. Uh, the problem is that our windows are not today inheriting from an interface. Um, and the container is not aware of this potential interface. Hmm. Because in reality, we are not closing a window. In reality, we are hiding a piece of a widget. Right? Because our W container is managing the windows as subcomponent of one window, right? Which is himself. So I cannot even catch, you know, the own close or something of the window because um because actually it's not a window. You would like to have an open all close all? Mm -hmm. That seems to be interesting, but not now, but could be nice. So, mm, is this center? Doesn't look doesn't look exactly center. Maybe it is. Um, I mean, we can avoid it for now. It's not super critical, eh? If that remains on, but but you know. It bothers me a bit. It bothers me a bit. It bothers me a bit. Um, so the, how can I do this? The idea would be that W container actually has a command for closing windows, right? He has a command for closing window, which is called uh, hide window this one hide window it's just this simple method right um and we also have an ability here to hide all but we are not using it at the moment huh? um the idea would be that when i hide i'm also going to call a specific function on that window right now the problem will be how can I do this? Hmm. Because I will have I I will be I will basically have to encode it so much. So I will have to do something like this, you know, which is a bit stupid, but I will have to say something like if my window right if my window is number uh, whatever hmm, the skills window i think is 11 or something 10 yeah if my window is number 10 right if my window where was that oh my god I got one million of this okay if my window is number 10 i have a special case for it right and And so I want, and so I want to do something special, right? And the something special will be to get a reference to my player controller, which I hope I have somehow. Yes. And take the window skills. And on the window skills, call a close something, right? A close operation. 
I think it's not too bad. I'm just looking at it. Um, I think it's not too bad. Assuming that we are calling this also when we click on the menu bar. I hope so. Let me see the menu bar. When we click on the menu bar, mm, win menu bar. The menu bar is this thing and I exactly have no idea how it works. Um, is creating the icon. Yes. But then how does it react to clicks? Um, no idea. Um, I don't remember. I mean, <laughs> I don't remember, but um, I think it's probably inside. Uh, create, create, escape, give it a little, little, little. There should be one here which is for clicking. No. No. Um, hmm. Fuck, I don't remember. In theory, the menu item is that one, so it should be fine, but are we creating a special button or we are creating just a normal button? Create icon. Ah, it's inside of this one then. Okay, okay. Is a special one, so I think it's inside. Okay, uh, click button to show or hide windows. Let me just see if we do it with the standard method or if we do it in a stupid way. Fuck, it seems that we do it in a stupid way. Ah, no, 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 we are calling. Yeah, yeah, we are calling the same function. I don't understand exactly what is this piece, but if UI edit mode, um, there is some reasoning behind, I don't know. But yes, we are calling the same function. So I think it will work also from the uh, top menu, which is very good. Okay, so I think it may work. It may work. So if we are in the skills window, right? Um, we create in the skills window a new event and we call it close window, right? Um, I can put it anywhere here. At the event, so let's say close window, close window and um, yeah, so we are gonna call this one. Yes, now the game is open, I need to close it. Um, and also the server is running, I need to close it. Okay. Okay, so now if I call this thing, I should have my close window. Okay, so, so this is basically a way, you know, to implement our own um, event for closing a window even if it's not really a window right even if it's not really a window um, and so we know that this one should end the trainer thingy now I don't know how in the code we were we were doing the trainer thingy um, In theory, on PS character, there is an event which is set in the trainer. Mm. In PS character, there should be something like set set oh my god how many function we have on uh, ps character something like set trainer right 
No, mm, it's not here. Why? Uh, I remember there was a get trainer. No. Ah, because probably it's on the dot h. Uh, because it's a simple, simple, simple function. And so set uh, trainer. Set trainer. So we need to see who is calling this function. And yes, yeah, start training, yes. Do we have an end training? No. We have a start training, but we don't have an end training. Um, ah, you see? Message quit, okay. Message quit. So in reality, what this thing is doing is calling is calling handle skill with message quit. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. We can call. Um, we can call. Wait a second. We can call request a training skill with. Ah oh, fuck! I didn't create a function. Um. Okay, we can create a new one. We can create a new one, which is um, which is and and the training or something like that. Right? Will be blueprint callable and will be called request and training. And we'll have no parameters because this thing is basically is just a it's just a command, you know, to say hey, we need to do this. So I think I can copy this one because it's very similar. Uh, I'm just gonna change the name and the parameters. And so we do it a bit clean, you know, because actually at the moment is not very clean. Um, and so we call handle skill with the difference that this time we call it with the other parameter, which was what? It was um, quit. I think it was called quit. Quit. So we do it like this, quit. And we pass in what? The pawn. Yeah, we need to anyway pass in some stuff. The skill ID we don't care, so we can pass minus one by a month. We can pass those will not be used anyway. Um okay, so I think this is nice. I think this is nice. So now I need to close my editor because I need that function to appear to appear here. I need that function to be so I recompile my C++ code and we are going to see that function magically appear in the UI. I mean in the blueprints. One second, I just take something to drink. Okay. And it's still compiling. Okay. Yeah.
He's still compiling. <clears throat> we changed the um, plane shift to plane controller, so it takes a bit. <clears throat> I think it is a good system anyway, because I had the same problem with the exchange window. Also, the exchange window, if for any reason is getting closed, um, we cannot manage the end of the exchange. And so I think it's a good idea that um, maybe I do the same also for the exchange window. This time is not bubbles. This time is a... Uh, Still water. Okay, he created it. So now we should have this function, which is called request and training available in the editor <coughs> to be called from our UI, right? and yeah let's put a bit of music 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 i love this music i like the game as well but I like the music more than the game. Dun, dun. Okay, so what we want to do, we want... Right, here we want to call that function which is a server side function. So before being able to call it, I need, um, I need to create a client side, uh, sorry, a server side call in player controller. Okay, or it will not, or it will not work. So um, let's create a new event here. I don't know if there is a limit to the events, but hopefully not, because I think we are continuously adding new ones and request, uh, um, how do we call it? Request and training. So we will call it exactly request and training on PC, which stands for player controller. And we don't need any parameters because um, we don't need any parameters. The only thing that we need is that this thing is running on server and reliable. Okay. And we need uh, to call now this function from this guy. Right? No, 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 no. We need to call request and training on PC. Yes, correct. We need to call this one. Uh, so when we close the window, we request to close the training session as well. Right? Um, now. Now here we should also hide all the buttons, right? That are in the progress window. So we should loop. We should loop. Um, we should loop like this. Uh, we should loop like this and ensure that all our win buttons are actually collapsed, right? Because in that we want we want them to disappear until you start the next training. So, uh, why not? Uh, ah, because it doesn't know. Uh, I need to cast it to. Wait a second. Um, yes. Okay. 
Okay. So we basically hide the two buttons of all the skills in the stats window because we are only training stats, so I'm going only on those. Whenever we close, uh, whenever we close this window, okay. Uh, maybe I can put um, a comment here. Uh, this is called by uh, W container hide window. Okay, so I remember it because otherwise. Um, Mm. I think this is good uh, and then this one is calling this and this one server side is calling uh, again request and training right and it's calling the actual function request and training to server okay so at this point at this point we should have all the pieces because this one is then calling the C++ here and this one is calling handle skill and handle skill is calling uh, quit which is setting the trainer to null and clearing the cache of the um, of the skills so I think we are good there um, the only thing that we don't use today is this one skills selected I think this function we are really not using anymore Because what this function was doing was to send you the description of the skill. But let me say that it's a bit stupid. Um, we store it uh, the first time when the skill is sent, right? Not every time you select it. I think it makes really no sense to have this piece. So let me comment it out and... Um, I put a you fix me just in case, but I think uh, we don't need it. Do we can save some code here? Uh, I removed it as we send, uh, as removed it as we don't need it anymore. Right? I'm not sure, sure, but. Should it be compatible with console? Uh, I mean, compiling on consoles is uh, something that I never did in my life. Strangely enough, but never did it. And um, so I don't know. I have no idea if, uh, if it's easy or hard. Uh, in theory, yes, you can compile for PS4. Let me see. If you go, if you go package project, at the moment, well, it's not in the list. So at the moment, I can I can package for Android, so it can be a mobile game. I can package for Windows, Linux, and Mac. I can package for Hololens, and I can. And I can package for uh, uh, Lumin, TVOS, and Windows 64. Now, I don't know exactly what happens with PS4 and X Xbox. I think you need to probably add new targets. Um, but running on console is not very easy. See Cyberpunk uh, 277 issue on PlayStation as a good example. Okay, so we call that. So I'm expecting that when now when we close it. It should work. Right? Will be nice to have it on uh, 
on console. It'll be very nice. It'll be very, very nice. But I don't know. I think it's for me is already complex enough to maintain it on three platforms. <laughs> Maintaining it on four or five platforms will be very annoying. Yeah, it will be one more thing to do. No, nothing is automatic in this life. <laughs> nothing is automatic. The only automatic thing is your uh, heart beating. That's the only automatic thing that you have in this life. Everything else is not automatic. <laughs> Hello, Tony. Good evening. We are working on bug fixing, so capitalizing on the on what we learned uh, with uh, 077 release. So by default they are not here, right? By default they are not here. Uh, I still need to move the bar, yeah. So if I go to this guy, which hopefully is close to me, no, it's very far from me. Ah, but I can teleport while while uh, we are loading because we are loading the world but everything else is working so if i can click on him no i cannot uh, if i train now these two things are available right if i close the window in theory and reopen it haha <laughs> they are gone okay so the close the closing thing works so from the player perspective, even if it's a bit of a trick, but from the player perspective, you know. Um... Oh fuck, why my progression points are again 99999? This is not very nice. Is it because I, is it because I commented out this part? Because this thing... No, but this thing is not sending the... What the hell? Why is it again 999? What happened? Did it happen when I closed it? Or... Uh... Did it happen when I closed it? Wait. I can watch my stream. And go back. Before, I guess. It was already nine 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 nine. It was already nine 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 nine. Fuck. Um. Why? I absolutely have no idea. I have no idea. The only difference is that this time we had this window open, right? When we when we joined, we had that window open. That's the only difference. But you know, that information should be sent one time at the beginning and then updated only if you spend points. So that should be received uh, very early. 
Let's kind of strange. Huh? Is it a non reliable message, maybe? The old game someone has tested with small PC tablet. Mm. BSD. Yeah, BSD should work because it's Linux, but. Uh, fuck, 9999. No, some, we broke something, I don't know why. We broke something. How is possible, boys? I didn't touch the... I didn't touch... Is it something not compiling in the editor, maybe? Yeah, that could be a possibility. If there is something not compiling in the editor, then... I understand, but I think there would be... Much more broken things if something is not compiling in the editor I guess this is strange this is very strange So the progression points are received. Um, the progression points are received at the beginning. Um, not here. but they are received with the first vital update and the first vital update is kind of forced because it's the one that we get let me just see if everything is compiling fine but i think it should Yes, everything is compiling fine apart from this one but these errors we know already these errors are not a problem <clears throat> are not a problem um, so in theory we should be receiving the progression from the server at the beginning together with all the other vitals now uh, this may not be a reliable event This update current vitals new, right? I don't know, I'm very surprised that it doesn't work anymore. Very, 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 very surprised. Very, very, very. Um, fuck, don't remember the call. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We can find it. We can find it. Receive vitals update UI. Receive vitals update UI, receive vitals update new. Because I did. Uh, I did a change, right? Um, but receive vitals update new is then calling this update UI, if I remember right. Actually, I'm pretty sure of it. 
He's calling this one, that then is going in client vitals, and from client vitals is calling the UI update. So all of the is this one reliable or not? This one is reliable, okay? So there should be no possibility for it to fail. No possibility for it to fail. Right? Now the question is why? Handle dear data. Yes, and handle dear data on the client side is calling is calling receive vitals update UI. Okay, uh, and it should be calling at the beginning <coughs> for for all the vitals, including progression including progression right and so we're going to receive vital updates which is this one which goes into this which goes into this mess um oh, by the way i'm printing out this oh, wait, wait 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 i'm printing out i'm printing out this information maybe we can check it on the client log Update vitals new. One one hundred and seventy-one. Yeah, you see eighty-eight. We actually received it. What the fuck? That's interesting. I mean, we received it on the client. My progression points are 88. Okay. Let's follow the flow. So after that happens, we are calling... Uh, unless I messed up something, but I hopefully not. Is calling the dispatcher for char update progression and the dispatcher for char update progression is linked is linked to the bind here. There is the bind event in win skills. I don't know what happened. My PC is frozen. Hello. Cannot click on anything. Okay. I think the editor froze. Yes, the editor is GG. Okay, we will relaunch it for some reason. I don't know. Sometimes happen when you are uh, in the search box. When you open and close the search box very quickly, sometimes it fucks up. I don't know why. No idea why. Hmm. Anyway, we were in the wind skills. And we were receiving the binding. Of the um, wait. Mm. I don't know if there is a way for this to not go there. Why 
why there is this delay? I would prefer to do my bind before the delay. I don't know why there is this this delay here. Let me do it. Um, Let me do this part, right? <clears throat> Which is our uh, binding to the different events. Let me do it before uh, this 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 delay, which is a kind of weird. Um, so we want to do this kind of. But this should really not change anything in the sense that we are binding to update character progression and we are calling this function which is update progression which is taking the value which is taking the value and is putting it into the progression so it seems that this event is actually not getting called which is kind of surprising Wait a second, why we have uh, why we have it twice? You see that we have it twice? Because this one was the old uh, um But anyway, it's better twice than than zero. Uh, because I think that this call is getting, I mean, this call is happening at the beginning, beginning, beginning. This one is happening every time you get an update. So I think that's why we need both. Because this one is called only on character login and this one is called whenever my progression is changing. Uh, but yeah, seems to be, Seems to be fine. I don't understand why. The only one that does nothing is update experience at the moment, but the rest is working okay. Uh, it seems that we are not calling this event for whatever reason. I'm very surprised. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where this is coming from, really. And why we are getting it only now, you know? Why we are getting it now? Let me put just a random print out here and see if we if we see it, but there is something weird going on. Uh, before restarting everything, let me also try to move that um, bar to the right place. Um, will not be very easy, but let's try. <coughs> so the idea is that we want this bar, right, to be uh, to be inside of this thing right so we want this bar to go basically up and the problem is that this is a grid this is a grid yes with two columns and two rows okay 
So if I move my bar, what is my bar? Yeah, if I move my bar inside of this thing, where do I need to put it? Uh, I need to put it, well, I can put it wherever I want actually, because it's based on the parameters, but I think it should be like here. So. So here we have the skill bar, uh, because the skill bar is a single thingy. Hmm. 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 There is actually a separator, which I don't know what is this thing, but there is a separator. Separator is on row zero. Row zero? How can that work then? Uh, row zero, row zero, row zero. All of this is row zero. So these two separators will never be visible, I guess. But I would like my, I would like my bar to be on row one, right? Otherwise it will just be below it. Unless, unless we, we add a padding from the top of a certain value, whatever it is. But I think is I think is a problem. If we do it like this, um, I think is a problem. I think the easiest, uh, <coughs> the easiest will probably be to make it on row number one, right? But then the issue becomes, that this stuff is all in the center and if you do it in the center is a super bad idea because it means that everything will be fucked up um, I see why I did it in the center I did it in the center because I wanted um, Uh, yeah, this thing is needs to be redone somehow. It needs to be redone. I need... Uh, it's not very easy this thing. No? It's not very easy. This is probably also the reason why it's fucking up in terms of sides. Mm. So here we have a vertical box. We have a vertical box. Inside the vertical box, we have a grid. Okay. And this grid is taking. Um, uh, this grid is the one that we want to change. Because this grid at the moment is taking the full space. Why there is so much space here in the beginning? Ah, because we have a top of 8. Which can be fine anyway. We can have a bit of a top distance. But what we need... We need to be sure that... Um, Yeah, then how do we do this one though? Fuck. Um, okay, let me try. Eh? I think I will break some stuff, but let me try. Let me try to move everything top.
I don't understand these two image separators really. I don't get what they do. Ba -ba -ra -bam. I don't get what these two image separators are doing for me. This one will take all the remaining space, yes, correct. And be on the row number two. The skill bar will still be on row number one. Yeah, now the problem is that the overlay is taking also the full space. It's taking the full space of this row. So my... Uh, no, I need... Wait, 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 wait. This thing is a mess. Um, where is this image? I don't understand. You see that it changes based on the existence of the second row. That's super bad. I'm trying to delete all the elements. Uh, button skill bar. So this is the actual button, okay, the actual button is also, why we don't do, why we don't do take maximum of this grid? These two separators will be fucked up anyway, so... I'm not caring much about the two separators at the moment. I'm looking more at how the bottom bar will sit. <sighs> okay, let me save this. Um, is there a technical reason why you're using 425 instead of the last one? It should be easy to update on window. Mm. Um, yes, there are a number of reasons uh, why we are using 425. And the reason is that usually uh, the first release is very buggy. Well, not very, but it's kind of buggy. So we never use the 426, let's say zero level, okay? So we are waiting 426 to be patched at least three times. So to be 426.1, 426.2, 426.3. So when we are at 426.3, and so the majority of the bugs have been found by real companies, not like me. <laughs> So by, you know, large company that use Unreal Engine in uh, commercial projects and they need it to be working well. So when they did the, hard, uh, the heavy lifting and they fixed all the bugs, then we're going to use it. But if we try to use it ourselves, you know, at, uh, at release, uh, we will just be spending our time trying to figure out why things are not working. Our progression point is 88, I don't know why, but anyway. Um, okay, I have my bar. Yeah, I messed up a few things, okay, but I did it by purpose. Well, not exactly by purpose, but... I knew I was going to mess up a few things. Um, mm. 
Now we have the body here, okay. Which I think may be fine. Now we have the other problem that we also need to fix. It is that as you can see certain bars are going over. But that's something that I'm going to check next. Um, now I fucked up this. But yes, I fucked up this. But I can fix it easily now that I see how it looks. Um, I'm just thinking... And I fucked it up because I wanted to try. Uh, instead of middle, I did a take full space. Okay, but I can do middle again. Now that I see that the bar is properly positioned, I can say take middle again. Uh, one thing that is not very nice is the fact that the button is actually covering such a large space. Um, but... I think it can be fine. These two dividers, you know what? I think I'm gonna remove them. I think they are just annoying. In theory, these two dividers should have been... Uh, ah, yes, now I understand why. Wait, 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 wait. I think I have an idea. I think I understand why they are not showing up. It's because the button is covering them. Yes, because the button is covering them. So if I do like this, I think they will show up, actually. Okay, let me try like this. So, yes, we... we we don't want to use 426 immediately. But we will definitely migrate. Now the next question is, how hard is for us to migrate to a new version? It's not very easy, because um, things are changing from release to release, and sometimes you even need to change the code, or you need to change your project setup, or you need to change how, you know, yeah, how your project is uh, compiled, Sometimes they are changing the Visual Studio version. So like you need to upgrade your Visual Studio, maybe from 17 to 19. I think 19, Visual Studio 19 is out now. Uh, and plus we have a number of modifications that we did on the engine itself. And plus when we change release, we need to recompile everything on the three platforms, including the test machine, including the test server and including the machine so all the people that are helping me and so this means that Zway, Vanillan, Tua, Aeonwin, uh, whatever so all these people have to recompile and considering they are not developers sometimes they get confused about the new changes and something is not working so I need to spend time with them trying to fix their machines and this whole process is taking weeks, so that is the reason why. I really don't like this. I really don't like the fact that this part is. So basically I really don't like the background of the button somehow, but okay. I think it's not too critical, but um, basically it would be nice if the left part, you know, could be smaller than the right part, than the right side. And if these dividers could be larger or so. But I think that then it will look bad. So I think the only, probably the only way for me will be to, will be to split. Will be to split the button in two. 
I mean, I know it's, it's not a very, very important thing because it's just the, the, just the view, it's just the layout, but. So what is fucking us up is, is, is this button. This button that has a background, right? In theory, I could have, in theory, I could have two buttons. In theory, in theory, I could have two buttons, right? One to the right and one to the left. And the one with the, and the one to the left may not have the the background, and the one to the right may have it. I don't know. Let me try. So if we do like this, column span one. Sorry, column one, column span zero. Now, the this kind of background will be only on the right side. And our text on the left will be basically be will basically be clean. So there will be no Um, I still don't understand how these two things are getting positioned, you, you know, because this one is saying I don't understand how these two things are getting positioned because he has no padding, right? And he's in row zero, column zero. So he should be in the same spot. Unless he has a scale. Ah, he has a translation. Ah, okay, he has a translation, minus 12. So this is the trick. This one is a translation of minus 12. And this one is a translation of plus 12. So they basically appear. They basically appear here. I understand. Um, okay, let me just check one second how it looks now. Because unfortunately, I cannot see it in the editor the right way. Uh, but I will have to add a new button though. Huh? But let me see if I like it, because if I don't like it anyway, it is useless. We need someone with some graphical skills to actually go over all these windows and re redo them all. because um, they don't look very good. I mean, some are looking okay, but they are not very consistent. Some windows are made one way, other windows are made another way. And... Um, yeah, it's not very consistent. I don't like the fact that I don't like the fact that this bar is so far from agility. But moving this bar up is a bit of a mess because this block Why it looks different when I when the game is loaded? Is it the background that is completely white? Ah yes, it's the background that is completely white. So on a on a completely white bed because there is some transparency going on. 
So do you prefer it more like this? So with the left part is black. Or do you prefer it all as a single thingy? That's a tough question. <laughs> That's a tough question, boys. Mm, that's a tough question. I don't know. I think we should um, redo these things anyway. I don't think I like the two separators. The two separators look kind of weird. I can try to move this bar really to row zero and see what happens. But no, it's not gonna work. No, it's not gonna work. Uh, if I move it at row zero, it's fucking up everything. I can keep it at row one. But maybe, maybe, maybe. I can have my button row span two. And so it will be slightly closer to it. And I can have everything else column sp uh, row span 2 fuck I'm breaking things I'm breaking things I'm slowly but surely breaking things I'm slowly but surely breaking things. Okay, let me try like this. Um, Okay, I think this is the last change I do of this part. I don't want to spend time in graphical settings now. Um, move train ward on the main window only and keep plus one rank plus one point on the same row. Mm. So like, uh, like having train and then and then the two thingies. Mm. Maybe that's also a possibility. Yes. That's also a possibility. Yeah, but I don't want to spend too much time on this, okay? So we spent like half an hour just moving pieces around and I think it's a bit of a waste of time. Also because I'm not very good at it, you know? I'm not the best person to do this job. I'm not, I'm not too good at this. Okay, so now at least the bar is, the problem is that we have this, we have these two lines, which I think is, are very stu stupidly looking. These two lines are looking very stupid. If they could be, if they could be slightly, actually here they look like they are, but if I go here, they, they, then they don't, right? I don't know if it's a matter of resolution. But no, you see that Unreal Engine is pretty cool, so it's keeping the same layout, whatever resolution I, whatever resolution I adopt. Even if it's kind of a vertical thing like this, it's still keeping the layout perfect. The problem is that I don't see it too well. Um, 
I think like this I like it more so it looks like one block together with this with this bar what I really 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 would like to do is to move these two small things you know in the right locations but I don't know where where the right location is because at runtime is different than in the editor so unless I do something like that and then I remove the minus 12 let me try ah maybe 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 that's a way and the bottom I only need to go by the size of the bar the size of the bar I have no idea how much is it but I think it would be like five or so or four so I could take the bottom one and say four and then put it at the bottom no four I don't think is a great idea Okay. Last. I promise. <laughs> I promise. Last, last. Last, last. Then we have the other problem to fix though. Which is... The other problem is tough as well. Is the fact that sometimes... And it's still a layout. Sometimes the bar goes, goes out of the screen. Train is for all the skills. No, train is only for stats. Meaning uh, agility, strength, uh, and endurance. It's only for those. The other ones you are um, you are improving them as you use them. There is a change that we did a few years back. Okay, I think it's okay. I don't want to change it more than this. Okay, so this is how we will be. Now, we have our bar visible at all the time. I think it's not too invasive. <coughs> so I think it looks okay. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, it's not too bad. When I go when I go in training mode, uh, if I click on the head of this guy, I see these two thingies, which I think can make sense, and I can increase my rank by one, or I can increase one point. Right, and one point is just costing me a bit of progression. Okay, I think it's working, boys. I don't want to change it anymore. Done. Okay. Done. Oh, we did a good job, eh? Because also if you close it, the stinger disappearing. Uh, let me try to close it from here. You see, they, are, they disappeared. Nice. Okay, so I think it's working good. Um... Now, another thing we need to do, we need to understand, so this point, so at least one point we killed it. This one. Boom, this one is done. Now, in the same window, there is another problem. All stats can be a title of the window. Yeah, you have the title at the top. I mean, you have the, you see, stats, combat, magic. So you have the name, the name here. Okay. Now, uh, the next part is that sometimes this bar goes out of the window, right? Like if it's not scaled properly. And this happens with all the values that are above 200, I think. So, yeah, you see this one, medium armor? 
the bar is going after the window and is messing up then also these sides so i think that here the only thing we need to do we need to scale uh to scale the number by the size of the window right so this fix in theory should be easy hopefully let's see um i think we are scaling this thing we are scaling image skill bar i think is what we are scaling um, uh, we are scaling yes you see we are scaling uh, this value yes we are scaling this value by by 5 which makes no sense because by 5 what is it I mean why 5 I mean why 5 right um, So I think we need to take the maximum size that we want and divide the total by um, by the percentage of completion, by the percentage between the value and the maximum value, right? Which is 400. So... I mean, scaling everything back to 400, it may look bad, but I think it's the only way. The problem is, is if we have uh, skills that are too close to each other. That could be a problem. I can make it bigger, I don't know, but okay. But anyway, the, the idea is to scale it, is to scale it by the total size of the window. So the total size of the window at the moment is from zero to 1,050, at least on this view, right? For whatever reason is 1,050, is the, the default Deep well, but we are taking only the bar, so the bar starts from 200, so it's actually 850 in terms of sides, right? So I think what I should do here is to take my base value, compare it with the maximum value, so I should take, um, I should take this thing, right? Divide it by divided by 400 Wait. Um, divided by 400 which is the maximum so I get the percentage right so for example it will be 40% uh, and then I want to scale, I want 40% of 1000 and uh, no, of 850. So I want to take this and is it coming out as a percentage, right? So I want to multiply it. So I want to take my 850 and multiply it by this which is the percentage, so if it's coming out as 40%, we will multiply 850 by 40% and we will get a part of that. And this one should be the X of my, of my image, right? I don't know where this thing is going, by the way. Ah, yes, it's going because we also printed out. We printed out, we, I had something to print it out. But I think this will be correct, or anyway, let's see, but should be better at least. Um, 
Yeah. Okay, let's try that. Now, another problem is the... Wait, wait, wait. Another problem is then the positioning of, this, of the talents on the bar. Because I think we do the same mistake with the with the talents. So certain talents may may actually go over the sides of the window. Um, let me just put a comment here. Can I put a comment? No, I cannot. Fuck. Uh, max bar sides. And here I say max skill value so maybe it's a bit more understandable of why i did this maybe um so yes when we do the positioning of the talents on the bar which i think is here create skill ability i don't know exactly how we position them yeah, there is a kind of a weird uh, multiply by 4 minus 22. There is a bit of a weird uh, uh, calculation. I think we should do the same. We should take the current rank, yes, multiplied by, I mean, divided by 400. And then we multiply it by, like we did before, 850, which is the space that we have. And now this one, in minus 22, I think is the middle. I think we need to keep the minus 22 probably because I think it's the middle of the, no, no. I don't know. I don't know what is this minus 22. I have no idea. For now, let's leave it here. Maybe we will have to use it. Okay. So, so in theory, now they should be scaled the same way. Obviously, if we change the size of the bar, we should re re change those numbers. But hopefully, we'll never change them again. My only problem is that on a range of 400, I fear that some buttons will be one on top of the other. And I think that if, we, if that happens, maybe pretty bad. We should add to the database some dummy data. Uh, we have the one of the magic ways. I think the magic ways have... Um... So yeah, I'm scaling. I think I think historically we had 200 for stats and 400 for skills, right? But I think now we have 400 for everything. But if that's not the case, I can change it. Okay, so. Yeah, they became they became more to the, they arrived more to the left, but it's okay. Like here, I have seventy two, so it means that I'm that I'm higher than this fifteen, and I'm higher than this fifty, right? Um, and so, in fact, the white dot shows like here. Here I am twenty, so I'm lower than this twenty five. Here I'm lower than ninety five. Here I'm higher than the 100. This is a bit weird though, because this 100 seems to be, the 68 doesn't seem to be on top of the 100, but I don't know, 68. Uh, let me see the other ones. Okay, so you see that now there is not, is not overriding, is not um, going over anymore, right? This one was 200 and actually now is here in the middle somehow. It doesn't look the middle to me, but the middle would look more like here, but maybe just the visual effect. And this one is 66. Um, I don't know, it's 66. They, they all seem to be moved a bit to the right side, but 
I can try to set my medium armor exactly to 66 and see what happens. Set skill me medium medium armor uh, 66. Yeah, it's a bit off. I don't know why, but it's slightly off. Maybe the minus 22 is the one that we needed, huh? Probably because it's the center of the icon. So if I do 22 is exactly at the, at the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we need the minus 22. I think we need the minus 22, which is the center of the icon. But it seems that it's working, eh? So this one seems to be um, potentially an easy fix. Finally, one easy fix, boys. Uh, middle of the icon. And it is the... It is the max. Ah, I can do it like this. Like this is much better. I like it more than this. Uh, max skill value, max bar size. Max bar, max bar size. Max, max skill value. Yeah, I prefer it this way. I think it's more understandable. No, this one. Okay. Okay. So we have all our... Um, this by four then we don't need okay so this is okay and i think and i think we are done with this one wow this one was easy finally one line that it took me five minutes it's not centered yeah it's, yeah the minus 22 i think we'll do it because i think it's the size of the icon I think. GG! GG! Security updates have been installed. Computer reboot required. Mm, okay. It's the other PC, so I think I can do it. Hopefully. Um, I'm closing windows like a boss. I'm closing windows like a boss. Uh, run now. Okay, I'm just re rebooting the other PC. <clears throat> Bling. Okay, I think this one hopefully is good. Um, so intelligence, let me, let's try to put intelligence to 68. Set skill me intelligence 68. Yes, it's exactly in the middle now. Okay, now I think it looks good. Yeah, they are all aligned to the left, but... Um, uh, May be annoying by re reading both chat may help you reduce the delay between messages delay. No, 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 no. You mean having a bot that reads every single line of the chat? No. No, 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 no. That's a very bad idea. You see, these ones are very close to each other, for example, and um, 
Okay, but I need to decide. Do we have 400 as a maximum or not? If, if not, anyway, I can scale it just by changing one, one thing, right? Only the one marked. Um, other streamers do it um, only for subs or only for people that they trust, you know? Or only for people that are... Um, that are paying money so like you have a one dollar to to have your message set on stream something like that <laughs> but i don't know <clears throat> okay because you can say whatever you want right and it can also be something that is uh, against tos the term or service of twitch or youtube and so if it's read out loud is a problem uh okay so this one is fixed right now we have all these buttons on the left but i think it's just because we we scale it to 400 but i think we want to scale it for four to 400. what do players usually have as values values players my plane <clears throat> give me a name of a player i think i searched like gonger the other day Gonger is not showing his stats. Fuck. <laughs> Give me a name of a player. Whatever. The problem is, is, is that if he's a game master, fuck, they don't show their skills. I can search it on the database. <laughs> they want to hide from me, but they cannot. They cannot hide from me. I was already searching Gonger for some reason. Uh, yeah, you see that the stats are scaled to are scaled to four hundred. Now I don't know if the skills are scaled. So select star from character skills where character ID equal to this. Um, yeah, some are 400. No, no, no. 400 are only the stats. Everything else is scaled to 200. But we have a 215, for example. We have a 215. I don't know how we reached 215 in what? 31. 31. What is 31? skills 31 is empathy wow 215 in a skill that is actually not used wow that's insane that's insane hariter hariter is on my plane public or not No, Ariter uh, is not here. Ariter is not is is hidden. He's hiding his stuff. Unfortunately, he's hiding from us. But we can search it anyway. Uh, there are some 400, there are, there is a 300, there is 165, then 200. Yeah, it seems that anyway the maximum was, was, was 200. I need to confirm with the Unwind uh, that we want to go to 400 on everything, but I'm not sure. Um, are we going to standardize stats and skills? all on 400 should we scale should we scale current players uh, skills from 200 to 400 uh, pro rata on migration because i remember we wanted to standardize that 
but I can keep them split, okay? I can just divide by 200. I can just have a 200 instead of, you know? So I can just change... I can just change this number here. 400 max skill value, right? And we can... We can rescale everything in the in the UI, so I think it's easy. Easy, boys. Easy. Ah, look at this one. Boom. Ten minutes. Done. Ah, I want all these ones to be ten minutes. <laughs> okay, let's do. Ah, uh, this one is very annoying. Uh, let's do this one. Tooltip on mental stamina and physical stamina. Okay, so uh, this one is should be very, very, very easy. Um, basically, we have the problem that you mouse over. You see that you mouse over, but it doesn't tell you what is it. And it doesn't tell you the two mental stamina and the physical stamina values either. So... So you don't know what these things are. You see them, okay, you may say, oh, uh, the red one is HP, but, and the blue one is mana, but, you know, it's not that explicit. So I wanted to add, I wanted to add, um, um, the next one look at more fun. Yeah, I skipped it. I will do it. I will do it next. I just want to do another one quick so that you boost my motivation, okay? I want to do another one quick so my motivation is going up because it's already nearly midnight, you know? And that one is not, that, is not very easy. Um, okay. So the tooltip there, the tooltip there should be very easy. Uh, the tooltip there. I have to remember. So the name of the window should be win stats. Should be win stats. Yes. And and I think. This is probably the first window that we made, okay? Yeah, I think it's the first window that we made in Unreal. Um, set held by... Set tooltip... WD progress bar health... WD progress bar health... Okay, we're setting the tooltip on that. Um, so the first thing I want to do, I want to say HP because I don't think it's very easy to understand. So I have to switch, I have to move everything down by one, right? And this one becomes HP space that thingy. Okay, so at least we see HP and for the mana we do the same. But then I need to add the stamina. Uh, so this one goes here. This one becomes space slash space. And this one becomes mana. Okay. Now the, the physical thing is, the physical thing is update HP, update mana. Uh, Update. Ah, in theory, the tooltip is there. What? Ay, 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 ay. Then there is a problem that the physical stamina, for some reason, is the same value of the HP. I don't think this is very real. I think there is a bit of a mess because it's impossible that they have the same value 
Is it impossible? I don't know. But anyway, this should be physical stamina. It's a bit long, but anyway, it's a tooltip, so I don't think we care. I think it's better that the player understands what is it. Right? Because otherwise it's just a num it's just a bar somewhere that no one knows what is it. And it is mental stamina. Okay, but why do they have the same value? That is super weird. Why the mental stamina is the same as the... Is it because in my dummy database <clears throat> I have them identical? Or is it because... Or is it because it's really broken? Because that's strange, huh? That's very, 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 very strange. Actually, I'm receiving all the values and I'm printing them out, right? We were printing out the stuff, new vitals. New vitals, so like 64. Let me see. Uh, these values are all different, so... I don't know what is what, but they look all different, so I think it's unlikely that they are the same. Um, where is the vitals update? The vitals update is here, okay. So, mental stamina, 512, so it should be... 56 and 64 where was it physical stamina so physical stamina should be 57 and mental stamina should be 56 on this character while the hp and mana while the hp and mana hp is what is 172 yeah they are completely different anyway they are completely different. So, we should see those numbers. I don't know why we don't see them. Uh, okay, let me try again. Because we are HP, value, HP. Update HP, update mana, update P stamina, update mental stamina. And then when we go here, update mental stamina, update physical stamina. Yeah, they, they look okay. WD bar stamina physical. Yeah, they look, uh, they look fine. I don't know how they can be wrong. WD progress bar stamina physical Yeah, yeah, it's this one It's kind of a mystery because okay, let, let's try again now that we have that we have all the values and the names and It's kind of weird though So, or the tooltip is like overlapping, like the like the like the square of the tooltip is not big enough, and so we are actually picking up the health and the mana instead of the two stamina. That that's a possibility. Maybe it's not big enough. Do 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 do. By the way, if anyone is new, I will be very nice if you say hello in the chat. If you are like following, clicking on follow on Twitch, click on subscribe on YouTube. 
and let us know what you think of the game. Yeah, the problem is that the tooltip is not... I mean, the tooltip of the bar below is not showing up. It's always showing the HP one. Why? I have no idea, because I've set, I have set the tooltip. Is it too small or what? I don't understand. Is this thing like overlapping the other one or? There is a vertical box. So a vertical box, there is no freaking way. Fill zero five. I can remove the fill and see because if I do auto instead of fill. Why is doing this? Interior is a vertical box, so. I don't understand. No, wait, 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 wait. What? Mm. I don't understand what is going on. So if I put the... So this is a normal bar, right? This is a normal widget which lives inside a vertical box. And a vertical box is deciding the flow of the stuff that is inside of it, one after the other. So there is no way they are going to become bigger. So why this is happening? Is the sides box at the top that is fucking up? I don't think so. Because the canvas is taking the full space, the vertical box Confused here. Yeah. Feel 0.5. What do you mean, feel 0.5? Don't feel anything. Let me try to remove the feel from all of them and see what happens. If I remove the feel. You see that these two, these two bars are basically covering everything. Well, they should not. They should re really, they should not. Why, why is doing this? And by the way, why is doing it only vertically? It's like if this health bar has some properties which are different. Uh, this one is a padding though. Padding top. Yeah, but the padding is just the... The padding should not affect it, I would say. Uh, there must be something else, boys, somewhere. Translation, scale... 
angled pivot there must be something else I don't understand why the two bars are identical, right? I don't understand why one bar is super big and the other is not. Ah, 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 they are using different progress bar. There is a progress bar and a progress bar two. Which, by the way, makes totally no sense, but... They have different... Uh, they have been created differently. Uh, 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 okay, so maybe we can analyze this. So this progress bar is a sides box and a canvas panel inside and an image. And yes, this one is specific sides specified, which is 129. I don't know why 129. <laughs> what the hell? Why 129? But even if I remove the... Even if I reduce the sides of the text, the sides of this is still kind of weird. Image bar, image sides, MUI progress bar, MUI progress bar. Does this thing as a um, as a sides or what? Because basically, one automatically expands to so much and the other doesn't so which is kind of weird you know i don't even know why we use two by the way but again this was the first one that we did a long time ago so that's probably the reason why no matter what i do you know the No matter what I do on the sides box, this bar remains super big anyway. It's like if the space of the widget. Ah, uh, because we have set the desired here. I see. No, but we can do it in a very simpler way. Um, wait, let me go back if I can. I cannot. Okay. So basically we decided... Um, we decided the screen size here, which is something that I never did actually. So we said custom and we decided the width and the in the height directly in 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 here which i think is a very bad idea because it means that this control will will always be different you know and i think that is the reason why it's occupying more space um So I think this should not be custom. I think it should be desired. And I think in the sides box, if you really want to do it, we can specify whatever whatever sides we want. So 504 by 120, whatever, right? So we can specify um, a certain value in the sides box. But I think it would even be better if 
not to specify it. Let me try not to specify it. And we will, uh, yeah, I need to close this. And we will decide the size in the widget that is using that. I think that would be better. So let me see what happens in wind stats now. Right. Still, this one remains, remains big. This is the override of the panel, but... I don't, uh, I don't understand what is going on. So now my progress bar basically has no defined sides and he can shape himself to the container, right? And, but here he still has, uh, still has a specific sides, which probably, ah, okay, which probably is the minimum of the text. Okay, okay, okay. I think it's the minimum of the text. Because the text is still that big. Because the text is still that big. So is this I think it's the size of the text. Uh, because on the other one we have no text and so it's becoming smaller. Uh, okay, let me see the size of the text. Yes, because the text has a fixed 25. Okay. If I do a 20, yes, it becomes smaller. Yeah, but also this thing that he, that he has a specific size is kind of annoying. I think you should, you should have no specific sides. I think by default you should have no specific sides and um, and then he will offset to the right, minus 72. What the fuck is this? Is this because I dragged the... Yeah, I think it's because I dragged the thingy. Yeah, the UI should be all parametric, yes. Yeah. So this is what I'm trying to do actually, because I don't want, you know, to have... Um, I don't want to have um, this thing sides himself, you know, uh, outside of this window. I want this window, which is the wind stats, to decide how big are the different pieces, right? Um, which actually it means that we need to make it a grid window, but it's okay. A grid panel, I mean. So also this one should be desired, should not be custom. and should have no predefined sides anywhere. And 
because now they look all fucked up, but it's okay. Now, if I put my so let me try to let me try to use a, a grid a grid panel now. I'm eh? just to understand if I can do it right. And I move all my objects inside my grid panel. And I say that my first progress bar is row zero, my second is row one, my third is row three. Uh, sorry, two. And this last one is row three. Right? So now they are not bound to. Hmm. The problem is that it's not working. I mean, the, the end is not working. And I think the end is not working because this progress bar use a very weird material, which is this material here. And I don't know if this material has a specified sides in theory should not no because you see as soon as i i i, I shrink or, or no, no the material is working fine the material is working fine material is working fine um i think this should Because you see they are slightly different. One is inside a sides box as a father, and this one is inside a canvas panel as a father, right? This one is a sides box and then a canvas panel, which uh, I don't know exactly why. I'm just experimenting a bit. Now I made them exactly the same. With a different one as a as text, the other doesn't does not have text, right? But you see that here the result is kind of weird because here the result is that they are still keeping the relative sides that they have instead of so if I make this one shorter, right? I assume that it will become shorter. Yes, on this window. So it seems that the sides, you know, that I give them here is still is still important. Right? So it not it's not just can I change this with an overlay? Let me try to change this with um no, I want to replace this with an overlay. Okay. Let me try like this. Um, he's still not fitting the thing. This thing is not fitting my... Why is not fitting the full space that he has, you know? Why is not going to the right to fill the full space? Ah, because wait, wait, wait. I didn't have fill here. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't have the fill, huh? 
Oh, it's the same. It doesn't give a shit. He doesn't feel anyway the space that he has. Why this? Why, 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 why? Because I don't have many options. I have the overlay with screen size. I mean, I can do fill screen, but fill screen, I think, would be, look a bit stupid. One sec. Fill screen. If I do fill screen, what happens here? Totally nothing. So basically, the way this is displayed doesn't make any... Doesn't make any difference. Uh, but I don't have too many possibilities, you know? So I have the overlay as a container. I have... The, the important is that the text and the image, wait, 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 also the image should be like this, huh? Also the image should be like that. It's still not changing. It's still not changing. So it looks like this one is fitting, but this one below is not fitting. Ah, okay, so maybe now the problem we have it on the other one. So let me do the same on the other one. So which is uh, using an overlay and ensuring that this one is staying within the overlay. Ah, now they are the size, the same size at least, okay. So now they are the same sides, right? The problem is that I cannot change. What the hell is this? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? So if I do sides to content of my grid panel, the grid panel becomes... The grid panel becomes like this, right? And I can move it on the canvas and whatever. But... But... But nonetheless, whatever I do... Wow. So basically these boxes are not... I don't know what so on on or inside the canvas I can organize them as I want right and you see here that I can shrink them as I want except for this one this one is not getting shrinked why this one is not getting shrinked tell me if you are identical to the other guy why you are not getting shrinked huh Why? Ah, because, okay, because this one didn't have the... Okay. I think I reached the point where I, where I can manipulate them as I want, which was, the, which was exactly the purpose, right? So basically, we need to be able to manipulate these items as we want from this window. Right now, the only problem is the text, but uh, because it's fixed in terms of sides, but I think it's okay. Mm. 
but now you see that now I can give them exactly the size that I want and this was the and this was the objective and also I can give them exactly the position that I want and so I can make them all the same right okay so this is a bit better I would say Uh, that is a bit better. Now, which sides we want? I have no idea. I think uh, 150 can be okay with the sides of 20. And so we make them all 150. And this one we can make it. Now, the size of 3 is super small, really. Let me at least make a size of eight. Because otherwise, boys, it's too small. Is it moving by how much? It is moving by so much. Um, okay, let, let's try like this, okay? But uh, at least we fixed the problem. And now the tooltip should be correct, I hope. I mean, the whole, the whole thing we started for the tooltip, so I hope the tooltip now. Oops. I hope the tooltip will be fine now. I think it, I think it feels too small. I mean, too short, but I don't know. We will see in game. We will see in game right now. And by the way, now they are a way simpler version, right? Because they scale as we want. Before it was a bit of a mess. They were done in a, in a kind of a weird way. We still need to see if it works or if the container, because those things are then contained in another container, right? And also, I don't know if I broke the... No, the value should be okay. Melare. Hello, Melare. I think it's okay. Oh, finally. Now, one issue we have is that the numbers, as you can see, they are not rounded. So it's like 57.33000002. So we need to truncate. We need to truncate, yes. But apart from that, it looks okay. Now we have our four things and we explain to the player what they are so i think it's a bit easier to understand than before let me just truncate the truncate the value um so when we when we put it here we need to round the numbers right do we want to know if we have like 145 dot 6 HP <coughs> I don't think so or maybe we can round to one decimal okay let's round to one decimal okay let's round to one decimal um, how do I do this I think there should be a round round to near no 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 yeah, but can I put the... No, I want to round to a specific number of decimals. Truncate. No. Round, truncate. Precision. No. Um, decimals. What will be the function? Float precision. I 
They go through a string? No, please. I don't want to go through a string at all. To text? No, come on. Please. Here I made, oh my god, smaller, he couldn't print it smaller, huh? Ah, oh, I see. Set float precision. Float decimal places 1 to 10. He's doing a power of exp, then rounding, and then dividing it again. Okay. Should we take this one? Should we take this one? If there is not a, an existing function, I guess. This one seems to be the easiest, but I don't really, I don't really like it like it, but okay. I mean, there is no function to do that in Unreal. Seems a bit weird. Okay, anyway, I need to convert it to text anyway, so because it is going into a is going into a into a window, right? It's going to into a window, so I'm not doing any calculations with it here. So it's going to text. It's going to text anyway. And so I, I what, what I'm thinking is that the text node is probably the best. Because anyway, I need to make it a text. Right? So... So if I do this in theory... I mean, it's a bit of a mess because this graph becomes insane, but... Um... But I guess it's what it is because this one is um, so we need we need one of those. Okay, let's try on the stamina bar. I think the HP was already correct. So I think it's only the stamina, which for some reason was very weird because I think it's calculated what if we what if we fix it before sending it no because we send a float I think it's pretty much the same I think it's pretty much the same I was thinking if I if I fix it before sending it to the blueprints but I think at the end is pretty much the same problem
Okay. Yeah, it became more complex than I was thinking, but... It always happened this way. <laughs> it's always like this. There is always a small thing that makes us go crazy. A small piece that makes us go crazy. Okay. So now it should be truncated to the first decimal piece. In theory. Only for display. Let's see. If this works, it's done. If this works, it's done. Hello, Kakperkvrk. <laughs> I will call you KAC, okay? Hello, KAC. Could you help me with a C++ question? I can try. I can try to. Let me see. 46. 53.3. Okay, it looks okay. I think we did it, boys. I think we did it! So at least now you know what these things are. Because before, there was no way of knowing. No one was aware of what the hell was that right nice very 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 nice okay that is done boys done 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 remove it from the list don't think about it anymore uh what is it this i thought it was easier but Uh, can you speak English, please? Can you speak English so we understand what you say? Good night. Uh, good night, Monty. Anyway, tomorrow we'll work on this. Maybe now. Not speak English? Well, then it's a problem because we don't understand you. Okay. Uh, the next one is about the disappearing, arm disappearing, and head disappearing on an old trail, right? Uh, I'm just disappearing with wearing playtime. Uh, I don't think it happens to me, but I think it happens to a lot of people, so it must be something. So let's change ourselves into into an old tree, right? So let's go to. Let's go to characters and take Melare. Melare is now nine. And he want, we want him to become, we want him to become, we want him to become an Altrir female. So 17, okay? 
So we change him to 17. Oh, we had a we had a we had a 17 already. Ah, okay, so we have one. We have one already, boys. We have one already. So we can test it. We can test it. I don't know if I can continue for much more, but... Off. Why the client? Uh... So the server is up. Server is up. Now we need the client up as well. Para pa pa para pa pa. Okay. So we will log in with uh, the other character. Drum roll! Drum roll! Okay. Okay, now I'm this character. And what we want to see, apart from the fact that she's wearing the weapon, Kind of in the wrong place, but okay. That's another fix we need to do. I think the socket, the socket is not in the right position. Um, what we need to do, what we need to do is to open our inventory and um, equip some torso plate, right? I should have... Uh, do I have it on this DB? Hmm, that's a very good question. Because I think I need to go in the... In the real database. Because I think in this one... This one is the dummy database. I don't think we have any torso plate items, unfortunately. Uh, let me try. Yeah, we have the we have the torso plate armor. Yes, the, the plate torso armor we have. Okay. So I can spawn it. Plate, sorry, plate torso armor. Okay. Ah, yes. Okay. Yes, it is the same problem that we that we saw in game. So the arms are disappearing. Why the arms are disappearing? Okay, the arms are disappearing. So we need to check what we did on the I think we messed up the keep of the robe with the keep of the plate. That's very 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 likely. Uh, I think we have in the older character, which is this one, right? We have uh, the keep of the robe, and the keep of the robe is, and the keep of the plate. Yes, yes. I mixed the, I mixed the two. I switched the two. I switched the two. Uh, because the, you see the plate the plate is removing. The plate is removing the arms. And it should not. It should not. I switched 
the two. Um, did I do the same mistake on... Um, and then the other one was the helm. The helm seems to make the face disappear? No. But the eyes are getting fucked up a bit. When I have the helm, when I have the helm on, it seems that the eyes are in trouble. Sometimes they disappear. No, no, no. Yeah, now yes. Depending on the distance, but... You see? You see what I do? It seems that they are colliding with something. I think we fixed this already. I think we fixed it in another character. It was the sides of the collision box. Okay, so the arms we fixed. Um, now I just need to. I just need to be sure that I didn't make other mistakes like this. I can open up the other characters and see. Why is not compiling? Okay, now it's compiling. Um, but yes, there are only two functions: the the plate. Oh fuck! I did the same mistake here as well. Fuck it! I have the same mistake. Uh, for the Noltrid mail. I hope I didn't do the same mistake for everything. Ah, this one is because it doesn't exist, but let me see the other characters. This one is okay. This one... This one is okay. Yeah, I think I did the mistake on the Noltrir for some reason. The Noltrir have their own thing. But the other, the other races seems to be correct. The other races... Also, not all of them have the robes, so... Oh! Fuck, this is also a mistake. This is also a mistake. Yeah, I did a bit of... Uh, I did quite some mistakes in this uh, these nodes. Unfortunately. But it's okay, we will have them correct. The alien male at least is fine. The inun is okay. Is okay. Um, yes, the inun is okay. The male version of it. Okay, is also good. Okay, yes, I think only the Noltrir were swapped and the Stonebreaker was swapped. 
the stone breaker was warped. Okay, now I I fixed those, so I think we can go, we can say that this one. What is it? We can say that this one. Uh, arms disappearing when wearing plate armor. This one I fixed. Now this one. This one I really have no idea because it, it doesn't happen to me. The head disappearing. Are we sure that he's on the Noltrer or is on the Dermorian? Maybe he's on the Dermorian. Because there is another function that is uh, uh, hiding the hair. Right? Like this. Mesh hair. Let me just check that the setup... Uh, Because if one of these lines is, is wrong, then... Okay, hair is going to hair, and head is going to head. Okay. No, this one seems to be fine. Let me see the null three of them. The construction script. Seems to be okay. Seems to be okay. Um, I don't know why. I think I can go back and check in the in the bug tracker, but. I think I can check in the back track. Eh? Mm. Which one was it? This one, by the way, is um, ready to test. I cannot find it, but I cannot find it. But I think, I, okay, at least we fixed the first one. The second one, we 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 should we should check it again. But hmm, I'm not sure when it happens. Okay, unfortunately, it's a bit late, guys. I need to go. Uh, I'm a bit tired as well. Ugh. I'm also a bit tired. Um, but I think we made good progress. So we fixed uh, one, two, three, four, five. We fixed five, right? Um, we still have a bit to go, but I think we did, uh, we did a good job. So if you are new to the stream, please click on follow on Twitch. Click on subscribe on YouTube. And also, if you want to support the game, you can uh, go to our Patreon site, which is patreon.com slash planeshift. And you can support the game and you can see some nice videos. 
and stuff that we posted and stuff like that and also access the alpha version of the game which is actually released now and you can download it if you enter into patreon right about your question on the namespaces uh it's too generic uh kc i mean can you simplify namespaces is 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 too generic as a question so i don't know what to answer if you can uh, come back tomorrow and make your question better maybe i can help you i will be here tomorrow evening okay around uh, 9 30 my time see you boys next time bye bye